Out to the breaking news today in the penalty phase of the man who killed eight people on the West Side bike path. The jury not able to reach a decision, a unanimous decision, on whether Seifulo Saipov should get the death penalty, meaning that he will now get life in prison. CBS 2's Alice Kater live outside the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan with these breaking details. Alice? The jury of nine men and three women, as you mentioned, could not reach a unanimous decision. So at a later date, Saifulo Saipov will be formally uh, sentenced to life in prison without release. He'll head to a supermax prison in Florence, Colorado, where he will be isolated in a cell 22 hours a day. Maybe he'll have one hour a day for recreation or to go to a digital law library, but that's about it. There was no reaction in the courtroom today when that verdict was read because it was a little bit confusing. This verdict sheet, it's about 17 pages long. Here. Now, while the jury was unanimous um, in showing that the prosecution did, in fact, prove beyond a reasonable doubt a lot of the factors uh, in question here, they were not unanimous about whether or not Saipov was likely to commit any more offenses or acts of violence in prison. In fact, according to this sheet, seven of the 12 jurors actually thought life in prison without release would be a better punishment. Now, we spoke with one gentleman, a survivor from Belgium. He testified. He was injured. His wife was severely injured. She had both legs amputated in this terror attack. He says that he felt life in prison was the appropriate punishment because they are currently serving a life sentence themselves. A lot of these families testified during this penalty phase. We saw photos of many of the victims on the bike path. It was brutal. These folks were testifying about the impact of their loss, about their injuries. They were not allowed, however, to address. Saipov. They were not allowed to express uh, the type of punishment they felt was needed in this case. So this is the first time we're actually hearing from some of the survivors and the families about what sort of punishment they wanted to see here. Again, Saifulo Saipov, 35 years old today, was 29 years old when he committed this attack in the name of ISIS. He had no reaction in court. Uh, there was one mother of one of the victims and there was a survivor in court. Uh, no reaction from them either. We did catch up with a bunch of the jurors who came out of the courthouse a short time ago. Nobody wanted to comment at this time. We're live outside of the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay, Alice, thank you.